Today I'm excited to review another PC fan powered air purifier, this Luggable XL. It's from Clean Air Kits. Now Clean Air Kits came about from an online community of a dozen engineers from around the world trying to find the solution to bring clean air into classrooms after mask mandates dropped. In their own KDAR testing, Clean Air Kits discovered that PC fan powered devices were much more efficient when it came to sound and energy when compared to retail HEPA air purifiers. Now since then, Clean Air Kits has developed a number of snap together kits to bring PC fan powered air purifiers to as many people as possible. If you don't want to watch my full review, here are the five things I really like about this device and the three things I don't. So what do I like about this device? The first one is it has excellent air cleaning performance. It's suitable for large spaces up to 485 square feet. It was also the quietest air purifier we've tested, which is incredible considering its air cleaning performance. The kit itself was quite easy to put together. It only took me, probably the least crafty person you'll probably know, it took me only 50 minutes to put together without really doing too much research. Another thing about the kit that I really appreciate is it comes with all the parts you need. So the fan guards, the fans, the power supply, everything's included as standard. All you do is add the filters. And finally, it's really lightweight, used to the material. It's one of the lightest air purifiers on the market. So what about what I don't like about this device? First one is it doesn't come with a mesh guard as standard. You do need to pay extra for that. And due to the shape and the largeness of it and the only one handle that it comes with, it can be a little tricky to move, especially for shorter people. And finally, whilst the wood material means it's very light, I do worry about its durability long term. Right, let's jump into the full review. As with all the air purifiers we review here at House Fresh, we bought the Luggable XL with our own money. And I was pleased to see that cleanairkits.com provides these devices for international customers. So we managed to pay for them to deliver the kit to us in the UK. We paid £176 for the entire kit, not including the filters. In the US, this kit would cost you $222. As were in the UK, we paid quite a bit more for the HVAC filters for this device. So we paid £88 for the two filters, but in the US, they are much cheaper and they're currently priced at $43.64 on Amazon. All in all, you're looking at paying $265 to get the clean air kits and the filters if you buy them from Amazon, or you could buy it pre-made with the filters included for $299. The model that we chose had seven fans from Master Cooler. They're the Sickleflow 120 fans. And what I really appreciated with the kit was that it included all the fans as standard. The only thing you need to get when you put this kit together is the filters unless you go for the version that they build for yourself. Now, if you've watched our reviews before, you know we like to look at the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if a KDAR test has been done. Now, the AHAM KDAR test costs up to $15,000 for every unit you send them. So I can totally understand that Clean Hair Kits hasn't sent all their devices out to them. However, they have had a KDAR test done by an independent study from Intertech and they have some great results. So for their smoke KDAR, it's 259 CFM, for dust, 323 CFM, and for pollen, 370 CFM. Now, the Clean Air Kits team does their own independent studies, but it's good to see that they used an independent place like Intertech just to show the rest of the world exactly what they can expect with this device without having to trust manufacturers. Now, we've had the pleasure since 2020 to test a ton of different devices in our own performance test. And looking at the KDAR for this device, we expect it's gonna perform as well as between the Blue Air 211 Plus and the Blue Air 311 Plus. Now, the Blue Air 211 managed to clean our test room in 18 minutes, while the 311 cleaned our test room in 22 minutes. So we expect this device to perform in between these devices. So let's jump into the design of the device. Now, the big issue with the original Corsi Rosenhall box, it was really, really big, and some could argue that it was fairly ugly. And I really don't think you can say the same thing about the Clean Air Kits Luggable XL. 
it takes a lot less footprint. It's fairly narrow. I, I do like the, the use of the wood. It doesn't look out of place in any sort of interior. Um, it's worth noting that this is the lightweight version that they sell. So if design is very important, they also sell versions that use uh, cherry wood kits. Uh, they start at $285 and they definitely look a lot more aesthetically pleasing if that is a concern. As I mentioned in the introduction, you don't get a mesh filter as standard. So if you do want a mesh filter and they recommend it for where this device is used, where there's a lot of people around in a restaurant or with children around to stop them poking their fingers in the filter, then you can get a mesh filter for $85 extra and you can add that to the device. When it comes to filters, Clean Air Kit recommends one particular filters from 3M, the Filtrate MERV 13. Now the size is a little different than you see as a standard HVAC, it's 25 by 20 and one inch in width. Now you can use any type of MERV 13 filters, however, Clean Air Kits say that if you do use another brand, you may have to use the two inch filters to get the same level of performance as you get with these. And there's a number of different other variations that you can use that have slightly different performance values. So let's jump into the exciting bit, our performance test. And we tested the Luggable XL in the same room of 728 cubic feet that we've tested over nearly 80 air purifiers at this point. We light an incense stick and we track how quickly it can remove the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. And impressively, this device managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 20 minutes. We can see how that compares to other devices we've tested. And what's more impressive is this device doesn't use any sort of ionizer. When we compare this device to devices that performed similar, it does have a slightly higher cost than some of the HEPA retail units we've tested. However, many of those HEPA retail units run much lower, which brings us neatly to our next test, the sound test. Whilst air cleaning performance is a great thing to look for in an air purifier, it's not the only thing that's important. The second most important thing is how much sound it generates, which is why we test all of our air purifiers at three feet away with a sound meter. Now for this Luggable XL, the sound levels were very, very interesting. Its maximum sound at its full speed and its only speed was 38.8 decibels. Please have a listen for yourself. The background noise in our house where we test is around 35.5 decibels. So at 38.8 decibels, I often forgot that this device was even running. It was only when I put my hand over to feel the airflow that I knew it was going. So it's really close to silent in a, in a busy household like ours. Things get interesting when we compare this device to HEPA retail units that perform similar when we look at how much sound they make. The first PC fan kit that we've tested was the new kit Tempest. And this was really quiet and really impressive, but it was 41.8 decibels. And the Luggable XL with its seven Sickle Flow 120 fans was even quieter. Looking at the comparison table, we can see that most of the other HEPA retail devices were between 50 and 60 decibels to achieve that level of performance. This is one of the reasons why we suggest to most people to buy largest HEPA air purifiers that they can get so they can run them at lower fan speeds but still get decent air cleaning performance. So we thought that it's only fair to test this device against some of these larger HEPA retail units running at the lower fan speeds that align with the sound levels of the Luggable XL. Even the Lavoie Everest Air, a device that I really like, running at speed one was at a similar sound level but still took five minutes extra to clean our test room of PM1. Many devices will need to be left running 24 seven every day of the year. So if you have an inefficient device, the energy costs can quickly add up, which is why when we test our devices and review them, we use an energy meter to see how much energy is used at each fan speed. Now the Luggable XL, like other kits with PC fans we've used, only has one fan speed. And the amount of energy that we recorded was 10.55 watts. If you were to leave this device running 24 seven, 365 days a year, it would add an additional $11.09 .09 to your energy bill, which is really not much at all. Now it's even more impressive when we compare to other devices we've tested. 
The only device that we've tested that came close was the new kit Tempest, which actually had less energy usage overall. But it's kind of an unfair comparison to compare many of these retail devices running at their full fan speeds. And when we look at the lower fan speeds, the energy difference isn't as much. But the big difference is the amount of air cleaning performance you get with a device like this versus these HEPA retail units. One of the cool things I discovered about these PC fan air purifier kits is because they have a 12 volt power connection, you can actually use a battery pack to power them. So as you see here, you would just add the plug, the normal plug, but on the clean air kits, they have a lot of information. I'll link to it in the comments. Basically you need to buy a device like this, which connects to the power supply and then has a USB uh, insert uh, that you can use a power pack. Now it's worth mentioning that not all power packs will work. Some of the older battery packs just don't provide enough power. So you may be running at a, a lower fan speed than you would like. Now I bought this new massive anchor device. I'll link it in the description. This means, especially with some of these larger packs, you can run up to 12 hours just off the battery. So this is this device running off the battery pack, which I think would be great in locations where you don't have access to power outlets or you wanna have it on stage, but there's no access there. So it's really incredible. Now it's worth knowing, it's not just for the clean air kits. It would also work with the new kit Tempest and probably with the Air Fanta 3 Pro, anything that uses PC fans versus the big, large fans that they use in the standard retail HEPA device. So let's look at the filter costs. Now, any air purifier that uses particulate filters, whether it's HEPA or MERV, eventually they'll become so full of particulates that you will need to replace them. Now, Clean Air Kits recommends that you need to replace the filters on these every 12 months. Obviously, it depends on your particular situation. If there's wildfire smoke, this is likely to be more regularly, but we can take this cost and look at the cost of two filters. Now, looking at amazon.com today, the total cost for these particular filters for a two pack was $43.64. When we combine this with the energy costs of running this device for a year continually, this brings us to a yearly running cost of $54.73. And this compares really favorably to other devices we've tested. The big benefit of DIY kits like this is they're much more environmentally friendly. Similar to what we saw with the new kit Tempest, if any part of this breaks, which it may happen, especially with fans with moving parts, you can just replace it with off the shelf parts as they've been designed with that in mind. So if a fan goes, you can change it. Even if a cable goes, you can replace the cable. Unlike your standard HEPA retail units, with many of them, you can't even open them up to see what is wrong with the device. So you end up with lots of them being thrown into landfill. In comparison, these kits are designed to be fixed yourself. So what do we think of this device? Now this Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits has really persuaded me that this PC fan technology is the future of air cleaning devices. With this, you have a high KDAR device, which when you account for sound and energy levels, it can outperform any device on the market today. I appreciate that Clean Air Kits have been making kits like this for a long time, as I saw improvements even over looking at the YouTube videos from older versions that they brought to this device. So one example is in older versions, you had to daisy chain the fans together, which is a little trickier. In this version, all the cables, seven cables for each fan were provided as standard. So all you had to do was click it in. And I'm sure they're gonna keep in iterating and making improvements to make it easier. Because let's be honest, we don't buy these kits because we wanna have fun making them, or maybe some do, but most people just wanna get access to this PC fan powered air purifier in the cheapest way possible. When I'm comparing it to other PC fan kits I've tried, like the new kit Tempest, I have to say that this device was easier to use. Now I'm not the best at putting things together. I'm not saying this is extremely tricky, but definitely I could put this together without really even checking the manual and video. So if I can do it, probably anyone else can. I think what's really incredible about this device is that it's the quietest air purifier we've tested and yet it's at the top table when it comes to performance. To get similar levels of performance, even with the largest HEPA devices, they still performed worse than the Luggable XL. Based on our data looking at performance, energy, sound, and long-term running costs, I'm gonna be including this device as one of our best air purifiers for 2024. I'm also excited to try some of the other kits from Clean Air Kits, like the Acceleron, 
which are devices that you put on the table. They look, uh, they use cylindrical filters instead of HVAC filters, and they look super interesting. And I want to try more of those devices out. Now, as always, if you're interested in buying one of these kits, be sure to use the affiliate link in the description. This will help us have more funds to try or more kits and make do more tests. And if you have any questions about this device that I can help answer, just let me know in the comments below.